When they talk about great Tigers, the man to the right of me is always on the short list. Welcome, Matthew Richardson. Hi, Dan. Tonight we have an exciting match. Even though it's an exhibition match, Dennis, we expect that both teams will want to win. Fighting it out tonight are Fremantle and the Eagles. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. The dock is kicking to the right of screen. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Nothing like an opening bounce, right, Richard? The will to win is important, but the will to prepare is vital. We will see which team has done their homework for this match. Short handball from five. The R score at back. Puts the head down as he runs in. He's put his all into that, but it won't give him the six points. Fremantle by a point. Might have to kick it to himself. Hands like dinner plates. The Rats kicks it. Great grab. Burnt sends the ball on its way. The contest, no match for him. Jettick sends the ball on its way. Five marks. Jams it on the boot. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Bumps the big skin. Strong mark by Blakely. Choose to kick it. Great grab. Walters, he's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He gets boot to the ball. McGovern marks it. He kicks the ball. Hill with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Valentine with the mark. 45 metres out. Picture perfect drop count. Nice contested mark by Matera. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Gets the distance. Matera for the first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Hit by that Nui. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Kicked by five. He spills the mark. Deft touch from McCarthy. Bump by Matera. Down goes Barras. Barras boots it. McGovern takes it well. Looks like he panicked there. The mark is taken by Chi. A short handball. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. All eyes are watching. And the wrist pays off. Goal. Near to his first. The dock is 5.13. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. There's the bounce. Nat Nui knocks it down the field. He controls the bouncing ball. Is in his possession. Going for goal number one. Goes wide for a behind. The scoreboard starting to worry West Coast now. Hamling would like to think he hits all his targets, and for the most part, he does that. Ryan with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. Johnson marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. Neil takes the mark. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. He kicks the ball. He wins the contested mark. Gets the ball on the boot. That's a ripper.
We'll have a look at the stats. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contest. Three to two. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richard. Here we go again. Quarter number two. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Sandlin's got the hit out. McGovern bumped off the ball. Shuey with the tap. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Hill. Good tap from Kirsten. Certainly, that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. Perfect timing from Chi. Look, West Coast haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He kicks the ball, kept his composure then. Redden kicks it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Darling with a relatively easy shot. Matt Nui takes it well. 35 metres out. A pretty safe bet from this position. Nice goal from Matt Nui. That's his first. Two goals will see West Coast in the lead. Matt Nui is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Hit by Matt Nui. He controls the bouncing ball. Johnson, I've got no idea how he managed to get that out. Sends it on its way. The mark is taken by Buas. Gets boot to high. And over the boundary line she goes. Five is coming off. I can't understand that. We need to speak to the coach. He hasn't done a thing wrong all day, so why bench it? Tapped by Sandilands. Neil picks up the bouncing ball. Intercept by Shuey. Hearn gets the ball. Puts boot to ball. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Darling, shown a lot of character in his recent performances. Ryan puts his boot on it. Sandilands with good strong hands. Sending it on its way. A nice contested mark. Mundy slams the ball to his boot. Lining up the goal now. Inside 50 now. Materi up. Perspiring like it, putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. 40 metres from home. A pretty safe bet from this position. Look at that. He's put it through. Matera kicks his second. Fremantle leading. Two goals the difference. All is in readiness. The ball has been bounced. Deft touch from Matt Nui. Tapped by McKenzie. Controlled by Sandilands. It grabs it on the run. Sends it on its way. Way. Looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Neil soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Neil is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. A great mark under pressure. Gets the kick out of the defensive 50. Let's take a brief look at the stats. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. West Coast, 7. The Dockers, 3. The Dockers have 24 kicks on the board and West Coast have 21. Fairly close, if you ask me. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. It's half time and we'll be back soon for the second half. And here we go for the second half. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Matt Nui got the hit out. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Darling gets the goal from a long way out. West Coast will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Matt Nui is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Hill with the football. Gray gets onto the ball. He kicks the ball. He scoops up the loose ball. Barras onto the ball. Dishes it off to the running player. Tack. Yo has given away a free kick. Sends the Sharon on its way. The contest, no match for him. Duggan sends one up towards the wing. Nice mark under pressure. Neil has just got a lot of tricks in the bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. McGovern by hand. 
He gathers up the intercepted ball. Puts boot to ball. McCarthy with a strong mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him, 35 metres out. A 45 degree shot is not too hard, he just has to keep his cool. Nice work from McCarthy. He sinks his first goal. The Dock is two goals up. McCarthy obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. The bounce straight down. Claimed by Sandilands. Get it under the ball. The Dockers have very well drilled and highly disciplined. They don't give away cheap free kicks and ensure their opponents earn every possession. Redden picks it up. Quick hands finding the running player. Pierce heading in now. Goal for Fremantle. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here we go. Guided down nicely by Sandilands. McGavin guides it. Choose to kick it. Biddle gathers it. Picked up the ball. Tapped by McGavin. He picks it up. Good tap from Tucker. Tapped by Shuey. He gathers the loose ball. Good tap from Hill. Hand passed by Sandilands. No good tackling him there, mate. There's nothing to damage. High tackle. Tucker feeds it wide. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Pierce squares his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Ballantyne kicks for goal. The ball's travelling. Ballantyne. He has sunk that from a long way out. The Dockers lead the Eagles. All is in readiness. The ball bouncing well. The siren will sound soon for three-quarter time. Kicked in a flurry. Pierce takes it well. Gets boot to leather. Good mark by Walters. Distance could be the problem. What a goal from a mammoth kick. This kick puts them further into the lead. Fremantle have scored the last two goals. The dock is by five goals. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. Fremantle on 24 and West Coast on 20. Thanks, Richo. Here we go for the last quarter. It ain't over till it's over. Nat Nui knocks it down the field. Gains possession. He picks up the loose ball. He's a ball magnet. Valentine aims for his man on the ground. Gains possession. He's got the football now. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richo. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Look, West Coast haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Darling, taking aim. 45 metres out. And the fans are riding this one home. A magnificent kick right through the middle. The Eagles trails by 24. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. There's the bounce. Nat Nui gets the tap. Monday dodging for no reason at all. Johnson foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. That's a massive kick. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Strong mark. 40 metres from home. Nat Nui takes aim for goals. A magnificent kick right through the middle. A second goal in the bag. They're having a run for the lead now. Nat Nui is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Sandlin's not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Good mark on the run. Cripps. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Nat Nui boots it. Darling. Just wanted it more then. He boots it. He gets it under pressure. Kicks. A solid mark from Cripps. 
45 meters out. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. The goal for the Eagles. This game can still go either way. Cripps. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Palms it down nicely. Has it now. Chewy feeds it wide. Spurk marks. Spurk can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He kicks the ball. Valentine with the ball. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. A magnificent kick right through the middle. The dock is by three goals. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Waiting for the final siren now. Pierce thumps it forward. Good tap from Kirsten. A favourable bounce. Yeo was taken high. Yeo puts it on the boot. Fife looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. The Eagles couldn't do it. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between Fremantle and West Coast? A very good performance. A few standout players helped them over the line in the end. Final scores are 49 to 31. Well, that's it. I'll let Richo say the goodbyes. Thanks, Dennis. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.